Hey, what's up, YouTube? Mr. I Took the Bite here. I am here today with the unboxing and unveiling of the Xbox One. I just got back from the midnight release up at GameStop. I was up there until about 12.45. I just got back, and they gave me a free Foam Finger and a few Dead Rising 3 posters. I might have to give one away. I'm just not sure yet, but at the same time, I got four awesome brand new games with it. FIFA 14, Call of Duty Ghost, Forza 5, which I've been looking really forward to playing, Battlefield 4, and... I got a day one edition 12 month gold membership to Xbox Live. Now, this was actually on sale. I thought it was a great deal. It was a great deal because, well, normally they're 65 but I got mine for $30, which I think that, I honestly think that is just a spectacular deal. So, I couldn't turn it down, so I had to buy it. Forza, got that. Call of Duty, got that. But, those are just the games I got. I also got Battlefield, but I think I'm actually looking a little more forward to playing Call of Duty Ghost, out of all honesty. Here's a close-up of my foam finger. I just thought I'd include that in this video, just because I like it, and, um... I got it for free. I actually won it. They drew my number and I won. This is a spare controller that I bought. The spare controller is just like the ordinary controller that it comes with in the box. So here's the star of the show, the Xbox One, what everybody came to this video to actually watch. Here I'm just moving my light over just a tad bit because... I want y'all to be able to see the contents inside the box. I went over to grab my knife right here. So, let's get into this unboxing. Now on the side, you got the Xbox One. I'm going to turn it vertically so we can all see. And then on the back, it's just like a TV. Yada, 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 yada. Saying... This is what we can do with the Xbox One. And I'm like, okay. Now, I want to open my Xbox One. So, I'm going to just cut the top off up here. I don't like damaging my boxes in case of, like, if something went wrong and I needed to return it. I could always go and return it and get a brand new one. In case if it broke, water spilt on it. So, I always recommend keeping your boxes. I kept all of my boxes. So, here, first thing you see in the box is the Kinect sensor. Don't expect many videos of me playing with this. I might do it for the voice command, but don't expect to see many videos of me dancing around in my living room looking foolish playing the Kinect Zumba Fitness video game, which you can purchase for the Xbox. Next in the box, we have the... Well, we have a few manuals. We have the headset. The little plastic $20 headset that Microsoft just throws in there. They used to not throw that in there, so I'm kind of glad they did, because really all the cool headsets haven't even come out yet for this console, so we're waiting on those. Got the controller. It actually comes with batteries. Thank you, Microsoft, again, for giving us batteries. Really been needing those. Now, the Xbox One controller is actually a little bit lighter than the 360 when I put them both in my hands and could feel the weight of both. And after playing both, it felt really actually lighter. Now, I didn't have the batteries in at the time, but... I don't think the batteries would make that big of a difference in the weight comparison. You got a few manuals. Just some manuals. Kind of boring. Now, next you got the power cable, which you plug into the power brick. And here's the power brick. 
I, I honestly think they should have gotten rid of the power bricks a while ago, but they kept them, so I guess we're just gonna leave it like that. I guess power bricks are kind of a tradition with Microsoft. Um, so here's the power brick. Gotta get it unwrapped, of course. And gotta get the prong off, so you just want to plug that into there. I'm gonna set that aside for now, because that's not too interesting. And they finally included an HDMI cable. Thank you, a third time Microsoft, for throwing in an HDMI cable, because I know everybody wishes they had. Because HDMI cables aren't really the most cheap thing you can buy now. So, I personally thought they should have included them a long time ago. I might want to mention that the box is very heavy. Like, the console itself is very heavy. It's like the very first Xbox. Like, it did not get smaller or anything. Or lighter, like Apple products do every time they come out. They get lighter. This was heavy for a game console. Now, it has a 500 gigabyte hard drive in it, so I can understand that, but I don't think that's actually the body weight of it. And it's a really big console, so I really do like it. Here's a close-up of the console itself. There's the disc tray. Um, there's another close-up. I don't know why this re-ran into my video. I'm on a voiceover. Xbox One, per like, it is beautiful. It is a nice console. I'm going to turn it around for y'all here. So y'all can see the plugs on the back. The plugs on the back consist of an HDMI in and an HDMI out. The HDMI out, it goes directly to your TV just like normal. But the HDMI in is actually for your cable box. Here on the side, we have that the silver arrows are for connecting a new controller, while the USB port down at the bottom is just the USB port for charging or other Xbox One accessories. Um, here's a better look at the Kinect. Like I said, don't expect to see me actually playing this. I might... I might just, like, do a review on it, but I, I'm not going to play this. I didn't want to pay for it, but anyways, thanks for watching my video. Hope you like it. I know it's kind of a rough video. It's 1.30 in the morning, and I'm tired, so thanks for watching again. I'll do an unboxing on the controller. Make sure you like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, you guys. Peace out.